ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Danganronpa. I'm Karen Maku. And I'm Doom Dragon. Oh god, I have to make sure to cut that part out before we... <laughs> Just specify <laughs> the thing we were talking about beforehand. Yeah, because... Um, I know they can't hear they can't hear it, but also I made that mistake with one of the recent episodes that came out. Oh yeah. So you know. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Uh, Master only gave me a general idea. Well. But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up, uh, caught up in some this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. I like to imagine that like. This program already existed for like a really long time, like way before this computer, and was just uploaded onto this computer. Hmm? Like, but why? I don't know. Why are you here? Would it have something to do with the deep underlying subplot? No. Are you asking me what? Are you asking me what Master had planned for me? Well, he was. He wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this laptop. A weird sound also. It's plain. I know. We're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last thing anyone ever heard from us. We didn't even make it to a hundred. Ah. <laughs> cinnamon? Cinnamon. Man, you had a violent reaction to that one. I don't like cinnamon. Yeah, but that was very violent. I don't like cinnamon. Was that coffee? No, nah, it's like it's supposed to be like root beer or something. You don't like the root beer ones either? Not really. Oh, okay. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. Master! But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secrets. For example, perhaps the secret of the school. <laughs> <laughs> While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. Who's the prettiest? How much longer until everything's unlocked? That's right. Uh, it's gonna be a while. Leave it to but me. It, I'm definitely gonna do it. So, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So because of how long it's taking, he's designed Al Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It's. <laughs> That's it. That's all she says. It. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted even after his death. Don't say that out loud. Alter Ego can't hear them. You don't know that. <laughs> oh, once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, be but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's don't worry, I've got a secret plan al already, just in case. I've got a self-destruct. <laughs> just made a self-destruct program. All it does is... It doesn't explode, it just, like, the screen turns black and he starts smoking. <laughs> Actually, I can see what's going, uh, what's going on using my built-in webcam. So, if anyone sh the sp if anyone's If anyone's suspicious shows up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what if we made it to where, like, it's a program, but occasionally it messes up one word? <laughs> <laughs> it's just glitched. <laughs> I'll just scram for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. That is fine during the day, but nighttime is is, is a concern. Oh, why? Are you okay with have this? Have you forgotten? All the rooms are completely soundproof. Once our doors are, once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants. But we won't. But we won't hear a thing. Okay then. How about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room. However. There's a good chance the mastermind would notice us, all, notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So then, when time comes, I'll leave the door. To, I'll leave the door to my room open. But then there's no way I can miss alter ego yelling. But but if you leave your door open all night, then it's true. There's a chance I might become a victim myself. I know. However, but I am not as weak as you may think. I won't go down without a fight, I assure you. Also, I have a gun. Watch! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it wet? Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Uh, did, did you read this? Yeah. Oh. She was totally confident she would be okay. 
That confidence was somewhat similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time different. Yet it had an entirely different feel for sure. Like someone who'd been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who'd been born on a battlefield. Felt like it was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um, uh, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Uh, I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought I... I, I thought I was him. I thought I was him, but... <laughs> is Master... Hang on. I got an itch. For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Jiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive the situation were very low. Aww. So I prepared for this moment. <laughs> Somehow, it's I feel like... kinda sorry for her. Um... I can't imagine uh, how it feels to lose your other self. <laughs> It is simply a it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko, Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye bye. The AI seemed totally different than when we first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming, or could he have actually been worried about us? Could it be? Mm. What's wrong, Hero? You know? Yeah, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help from the outside. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well, well if we take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access. Hey! That's way too dangerous. The mastermind would find out in no time. Oh uh, 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 yeah, true. Indeed, this is no time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the pro uh, the progress of the file anal 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 <laughs> I'm anal sis. <laughs> I'm I'm confident we'll uncover some. Oh man, I really can't read now, huh? Oh, uh, you're probably tired. We're we'll full of pasta. We'll uncover some kind of clue once we finish. Hmm. Uh, this feels like this feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know. So should we get going? It's true. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll be back. I promise. Come on. Let's go. Hi. Okay. We all left the dressing room. As soon as we got out of the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. Ah! <laughs> 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 Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? Yes, I got sir. I just remembered something. I just remembered something. And as if he'd been waiting for his cue. Dun, dun, dun. Hina has gained enough experience to level up. What's the matter? So, what was this awesome thing? <laughs> you guys all seemed in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? No, nothing in particular. Oh, ooh, keeping secrets? No fair. I demand an exclusive interview. <laughs> denied, denied, super denied. Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Say do it? You mean like... Or hang on, wrong voice. Do it? You mean like, do it, do it? Wait, what? What do you mean, do it, do it? Yes. Don't you like to move it, move it? Ew, gross. You said do it. Just the worst. What? You said it first. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we were in the bath. We were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Uh huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse does not divide into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group goes would go first. But Hina, 
Hina won the match for us, and that is why we are all so pleased. Huh? Y yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... Aww. Okay, boys. Uh, why don't you head back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, oh, jeez. What are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with the ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh. Um. Damn listen, damn it. We totally lost another day with a. Er, hang on. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much her voice. Another day without getting to see my very first bath here. Your take. Uh, um, Gross. Uh, yeah, but tomorrow for sure. Wait, You'll definitely how long get that been? bath tomorrow. It's been like two weeks now. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> filthy, filthy, mud boy. You okay, so. Mud boy. Yeah. So, should we go back to the dining hall now? I keep getting all these voices mixed up. Oh, wait, it's all boys now. I know. I'm not happy. Hold on! Hey, hey! Something strange here. Very strange. Strange? What do you mean? What's strange is, this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek! Huh? <laughs> That's... You're absolutely right! I thought you were all about the 2D. <laughs> All of you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity to like this doesn't come come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a male's fantasy. I don't know why I said male. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just quietly go back to the dining hall? No, I can't do it. I can't treat the girls like that. Let's just head back to the dining hall. <laughs> what? I guess I didn't get the secret item yet. What's the secret item? I don't know. <laughs> can you take a peek in? Yeah, you can, actually. There's a secret event where if you have a certain item, you can go in and watch them bathe. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hang on. There's an eyelash in my eye. Wah -wah? But what about your man's fantasy? You're a man's fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sh I'm sure... Uh, I'm not sure a real man's fantasy should uh, be about spying on girls and stuff. Uh, it should be more about your hopes and your dreams of adventure or whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to spy on them. I see. I can't even describe my bitter disappointment that Primo fan service could have been yours. Yes, I know. I wanted it. I'm so upset. <laughs> I wish I had the item. <laughs> uh, we headed back to the dining hall. Even Monica was standing there alone. But to be honest, even I was a little reluctant to turn down the offer. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> fantasy. Like... Fantasy. My fantasy. <sighs> so I guess you dig the real thing just like any other guy, huh? Mm -hmm. The only reason I care is because it's good reference for creating figurines. A real live woman is useless to me, but looking at their naked form might be okay. Maybe. No way. If the girls heard you say that, we'd all be dead meat for sure. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of, of busy voices. Yeah, busy voices growing louder. The girls have finished their bath and joined us in the dining hall. You got it. Ah, man, what a nice bath. This is fine. But getting a chance to stretch out and relax after this, after all this time, was a true pleasure. Indeed. Of course. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... <laughs> Sorry, you no time for that. So in the end... That's what I figured. Huh? Huh? Actually, we were just saying in the bath how it was about time you get up, uh, for you to get up to something. Because... Oh, mess with my hair. After seeing how happy we were, a little evil monster like you would never let it, let that last for long. Hey, you're all so terrible to me. My entire Everyone's existence. so cold and mean, even after I got presents for all of you. Presents? Well, now, hmm. well, now, well, oh, have well, I got now. your attention? Let's head to the gym where your presents await. See ya no later. questions, no dilly-dallying. Get a move on and everything will become clear. Oh. Oh. What is it? 
What are you scheming this time? It would He's seem... probably going to repeat the same thing again. Providing us with a motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. Me neither. I'm like totally traumatized. However, it's okay. We have Alter Ego, and I'm sure he'll find something that, that'll help us. Uh, okay. So for now, correct. We just have to endure it. Come with. Uh, come what may. Oh. He's already here! Damn it, we don't have the good one. <laughs> No, Toko's here, shit. What? I'm tired of reading him. That's too bad. To be kept waiting, like, uh, by the likes of you, rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dull fucking hell, okay? Miyaki, yeah, did you get here early? <laughs> did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. What if Sakura just <laughs> backhanded him into a wall? What if she kicked him in the exact same way he did the right foot, left foot thing? Oh. Uh, this, the same as always, I see. Her, on the other hand. What the heck? Yeah, she's back to her Debbie down herself, huh? Hm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. <laughs> so now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes. Seems kind of late to add that to the mix. <laughs> Why the does everyone keep making fun of me? Because you're a, you're such a bitch. I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. Oh. That was very specific. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, uh, so when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So Which then. means... Cutscene! Cut scene. The 80th time. I oh, know, there's so few people. What happened? His legs are so small. <laughs> His body just sucks. You guys? It looks like everyone's here. So then, let's get started. What? Come on and out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However... Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're not gonna lose to you ever again. Come on! You don't have to get so defensive. Calm down! I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. Without further ado, I give you this! Ten million dollars! I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive! Whoa. What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wow 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 am I right? So that's the money you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is... Hmm. It's not nearly enough. I don't know if you realized, I'm rich. It's true. When it comes to motive, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or in the real world. Hmm. But, what there's no way we kill each other for money. Oh, isn't there? No. She's right. <laughs> You can't simply purchase a person's life. You can. You say ten million dollars, or ten million, or however much. I don't give a crap for serious. I, I live as a hermit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I live in a box. Wait, with ten million dollars, I could buy a refrigerator I box. I could buy a second box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all right. Whether it's ten million or any amount of money box on top of another box and create a, a second floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have so much more room for activities. <laughs> God damn it. Stop <laughs> messing with shit. No. That's not even showing up in the recording. I know, but it's annoying. 
No, you won't let me touch my thing, so I'm gonna touch you. Appropriately. Perverts. Notice how three people didn't say anything. Well, Taka's catatonic, so. Oh, Taka didn't say anything either. Oh, yeah, Taka didn't say shit either. Fuck. No, not even money. Now on, no matter what you do. We're gonna have the power of friendship and poop on our side. He explodes with the power of friendship and they break out. <laughs> we won't kill our friends. Yeah, he's like, I just don't want to. What I'm not anyone's friend. Why is the power of friendship brown? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's like that cyanide and happiness thing where the dude's got the rock he thing he like he thinks he has the rocket up his ass and he just blasts shit. Okay. Have ever no. Oh, I need to show you that. Not here. I'm not, sure no. I I'm just gonna pull it up so I can show it to you after we watch it. Oh god. Uh, this is your line. Come on, stop trying to act tough. I the most important win. thing is to, live, is to live a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with the massive sum of money. We could just um, take it. Uh, there's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? <laughs> Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standards. Yeah, there might be someone who, uh, someone here who's having money problems. Money, but you know somebody. <laughs> Personally, I have earned over a million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. I'm telling you. Lifumi, what about you? I'm a super popular content creator. Oh, wait. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my comics and DVDs. Man, you really keep forgetting what his voice is. I don't want to do this. I don't like him. I'm yeah, all kids, really. then... hey. Just stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. Ugly? Oh god, here we go. <laughs> she, just, <laughs> she just wets herself. <laughs> I'm not ugly, leave me alone. And then she runs away. <laughs> Still wetting herself. Leaving a trail of pee. <laughs> well, now we know she's not the poop man. She's the pee woman. <laughs> Jack, side, on the other hand. The sidekick of the poop man. <laughs> oh, God. What? Piss peasant. <gasps> <laughs> that works so well, considering what she turns into later. What? She turns into a common pet, remember? Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't get that, you're too young. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Either way, whatever is going to happen will happen without warning. That is that is the nature of this game. Yeah, you did, yeah. Ding dong, big dong, now I'm gonna slap your ding dong. What? <laughs> <clears throat> Says the night time. Okay, then. Don't let the shit bite you. <laughs> Don't let the poop bugs bite. They're that... everywhere. Is it that time already? Huh? Hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Nobody's allowed to kill me. <laughs> Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room room door open to make sure nothing happens to alter ego, even though I'm saying this out loud in front of the camera in this room so that the mastermind can hear me. And also, there's a spy here. We don't know who. All we know is that they're gray, bald, and have ears. Well, ear. We don't know about the other ear. They might not have the other ear. We could only have one ear. But just because my door is open, don't... I'm the greatest detective. Don't assume that will make me an easy target. Because... Sorry. I feel like an idiot just made a stupid joke. <laughs> or the... Or the predator may suddenly fall, uh, find itself at the prey. I'm cool! <laughs> Her she, voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. She turns around and fi uh, fist bumps, or uh, fist bumps or whatever, whatever it's called. It's like the fist pump in the air. <laughs> yeah. It sounded so cool. I did it. You know? Okay, okay. Well, let's everyone just head back to our rooms. Jesus, I was I know, I'm sorry. You know what? Fuck it. I don't have anything to do before I go into work tomorrow. I'm gonna take the Zeke will. <laughs> I'll be standing up and I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna collapse. It's gonna be that strong. How's that? Pretty good, right, Taco? Da, da, da. Mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. 
money. There's no way that's going to get anyone to kill anyone else. I told, I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled by my money problems. <laughs> After all, I thought the same thing, uh, same thing last time about our seekers were real. Uh, even if the reason was stop it. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Even if the reason for it uh, seems completely nonsensical, the murder can still happen. Uh, that's the lesson I learned. But this time, this time it was, it's different. I'm sure of it. Because of the program left, Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego, we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. <laughs> oh, as, you poor idiot. As long as we have that, then I'm sure. <clears throat> That's me. <laughs> little kids have it so easy. Because they can put little in front of their name and right off the bat everyone thinks they're cute. Well, fine then. I want everyone to start calling me Lil Monokuma. See, just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by at least, like, 10%, right? Yeah, the world just doesn't have nearly enough Littles. If only there were a Lil Ultimates. In reference to another game... This mm. game didn't exist yet. <laughs> More Littles would lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine, Lil Arsonist, a little war criminal, a little destruction of the environment, little hit and run, little death tax, little Great Depression. Even the darkest subjects can suddenly become lighter. Our dreams are expanding. Ding ding. I saw a concept. I saw his concept art. And I don't like it. I know. You told me. <laughs> I've seen it already, and I was like, oh man, that looks gross. <laughs> Ugh. What were they thinking? Uh, early concept. Good morning, everyone! Get- Cause it's like, normally when, like, early concepts- Oh, then I guess I should head to the dining hall. It's Damn never- it. Sorry, go ahead. It's never actually gonna make it into the game, it's just to like, get you to- get you something to bounce off of. Okay, I was gonna ask if you wanted to end the episode a little early. <laughs> Cause this style- this stuff's <laughs> gonna take like another ten minutes. You don't know that, it could take three. Could it be... So, the people here today are the same as yesterday. Just us seven. Mm -hmm. Byakuya and Toko are a lost cause, but... Wow. It looks like Taka's decided to stop coming for good, too. It's like he's just giving up. <laughs> for people uh, wound as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him better. Mm. There's not... On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go all right last night? Indeed. Well, I am still here, so... <laughs> I'm still alive. And if something had gone wrong, I would have, you know, opened with that. I would have thrown the guy in here in handcuffs. Don't ask where I got them. <laughs> Don't ask why I have these fuzzy pink handcuffs. Correct. They're personal. They make sure their wrists do not hurt. I use them instead of actual handcuffs. Yeah. I went to check on the laptop uh, a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either, but... Kiriko seemed to hesitate, but... Whew. Just every sentence ends with but. But... It's related to this case, so I suppose it should I should be blunt. Anyway... I have to make it a new rule. Using, using Alter Ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw un unwanted attention to the mastermind. Oh. I would have thought that would would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Well, you have an awful lot of dialogue for a character who's not going to murder anybody. That's a good question. Hey. <laughs> uh, do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Hifumi? Oh. Um, no. Hi me, find me. It's just like you said. We all need to be very careful. <laughs> Stop. Huh? Whatever, let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have any time to stand around flapping our lips. I have four. Wait. <laughs> Jeez, what are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? Okay. We, ate a, we ate breakfast in a rush, then headed back to our headed back to our rooms. Back to our rooms. What should I do today? Free time. Okay, cool. We can end the episode. Oh, my God.
<laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Dang and Romp. But if you enjoyed it, make sure to let us go. No, let, no. Make sure to let us know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, why not leave a like or subscribe? Because it really helps us out. And we will see you guys next time. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.